What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Nation Programming Wizards TV. In this class, I'm going to show you guys how to create an alert dialog with list. Okay, now these are checkable list. You can actually check items and then get the selected items. You can see it's a multi choice list. So this is what we're going to cover right here. A simple alert dialog with multi choice list in Android Java. So let's get started. Come and create our project. Okay, we need to come and create our project. So inside the create project create android project dialog you go ahead and then type your application name then you click next then you're going to have the ap so ap level 15 that's what i'm going to use then of course we have a couple of templates that we can use for our project i'm going to choose the empty activity then you click next then of course i'm going to have my activities going to derive from the activity so once you've done that this one actually click finish to generate for us the project okay so the next thing we're going to explore our project structure as well as look at some of our layouts okay now come right here clearly you can see under the manifest we have the android manifest.xml under the java we have our main activity the java which is our only class then under the drawable right here of course not under the drawable under the layouts we have the activity main.xml under the cradle scripts we have two builder cradle who are interested in this one now clearly you can see in our project when you're not having any dependencies okay we really don't have any third party dependencies in our project so if you come to activity main.xml you can clearly see that you have our text view mounted on top of our button so the button these are show that button and then of course when this button is clicked we're going to show our multi choice alert dialog so we have our text view for our header right here and then of course our button and then we wrap them inside our relative layout so that's how simple our layout is let's proceed over to of course our main activity So we're going to move over to our main activity do java which is our main and only class right here. so first we specify the package then of course we're going to come and then add our imports okay these are the imports we're going to have in our project then next we're going to come right here and then create the class obviously an activity is just a class and in fact to make a class be an activity all you need to do is derive from the android dot app dot activity as you are doing right here so this of course has actually turned this class into an activity now we're going to have one instance field instance field right here called my dialog okay it's of actually data type alert dial it's actually of class alert dialog okay so alert dialog my dialog then we come right here we're going to create a simple method called show alert that will show for us our dialog so we're going to instantiate the alert dialog builder which we're going to use to build our alert dialog. So alert dialog dot builder my builder equal to new alert dialog dot builder. Then we pass in this which is the context. Given that we're inside our main activity, we of course have to pass in the context of that particular activity because the dialog which actually be it will be created, hosted as well as restored by the activity. Okay. It's does get hosted by the activity. So here we instantiate our alert dialog dot builder. Then we come right here. We're going to use a card sequence, an array of card sequence as our data source. So card sequence enabler. Then we come right here and have this on right here. So boomerang, Orion, whatever. We have our enabler inside this particular car sequence. Now once we have that one, then we're going to come right here and create our array list. So final array list selected items equal to new array list or read. So once we have that one, then we'll come right here and of course my builder dot set title. But remember our array list is actually going to host for us the selected items. As you saw in our demo, we're going to be selecting items from our using the checkboxes and then holding them and then showing them. So Temporarily, we're going to hold them inside this array list. You are calling the selected items. So my builder dot set title, then sang steps. Okay, that's the title of our dialog. 
then of course we come we invoke the cell to multi choice items and then we come right here so first we need to pass in the nebula okay then we pass in the checked items now by default in this case our checked items is going to be null then new dialog interface dot on multi choice click listener then on public void on click we're going to vary the on click you can clearly see our on click methods taking in a dialog interface reference also a position right here which is an integer as well as the is checked okay so we can now come inside it we can come and check if it's checked then we're going to come and say selected items that add nebula then position okay so we take the position we pass it to our array which is a car sequence array then we get the actually selected um, nebula okay now we're doing this one if it's checked if it's checked evaluates to true otherwise if it um we come right here we come and check else if selected items not contains okay so this actually it's not checked and of course our selected items contains this uh right here position so we're going to come and say we'll come and say selected items to remove then we're going to remove the item from that particular uh array list okay so we'll come right here receive selected items that contains position we come and say selected items to remove integer dot value of position so we remove the item from okay so this is actually if our item already exists in the array we're going to remove it so that's what you're doing right there then of course we'll come and then my builder that set positive button then we come and say selected items new dialog interface that on click listener then public void on click then you're going to use string builder string builder sb equal to new string builder so we're going to add our items right here so for object nebula selected items then we're going to go ahead sb dot append then nebula dot to string okay now we do that one we append our data inside of course our string builder then we come and say toss dot make text then we come sp dot to string we convert it to a string and then of course get we're going to convert it to a string right there and then show it in our toast message so that's what we're going to do now the next thing we come we create our dialog so my dialog dot create my builder dot create this will create for us an alert dialog we assign it to our my alert then we come and show the dialog by calling the show method of our alert dialog so once we have that one then the next thing will come over into our main activities on create method this is the method that will get invoked when our main activity is actually created so as you can see it's taking in a bundle object that you are calling saved instance state so we come right here we invoke the super method this on create method of the super class and then pass it the bundle so we then come and say set content foo and then we pass in our layout r dot layout dot activity main so that is the layout our activity main dot xml it will get inflated of course into our main activity inside of this inside this particular set content view method then we're going to reference our button and then show it so button show button equal to find view by id r dot id dot show alert id then we come and say show button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener then on click we call the show alert okay so that's what we're going to do right here this is our main and only class so all we now need to do of course is to run the project and then see our result so let's do so so if we proceed over and run the project as you guys can see right here we have our checkable list multi choice list of course and if we click selected items we're able to get the selected items okay so our stuff is working right here perfectly so we're going to attach the source code of this tutorial in our website camposha.info so you guys can go over and find it right there otherwise like the video share it and please subscribe if you haven't done so take care and i'll catch you in the next class